your car has to do a lot too. Tough wheels, tough kicks, tough checks. Tanks and shorts from Miller's Outpost. Easy going stop. Maximum Action is perhaps the most absurd game I have ever played. It is an unfinished and unpolished, janky, content-dry, buggy, early access mess of a game, and I absolutely fucking love it. The horrendously cheesy presentation and nostalgic aesthetic give way to extremely satisfying gunplay that shouldn't really be as satisfying as it is, but it just feels so good. Every gun hits like a damn cannon, and enemy ragdolls are hilariously exaggerated along with removable limbs that pop off with fountains of blood spraying into the air. Despite being a low-poly arcade-style game, it actually has a fairly advanced core system, with heads that can be, well, removed, piece by piece. And it's not always clear when enemies are actually dead, since their bodies are physics-based and they ragdoll all over the place even while still alive. So it's kind of encouraged to continue dumping rounds into airborne bodies, because why the hell not, right? You can also use an assortment of jumps, dodges, and melee attacks to keep momentum through a level while avoiding bullets. Dive through the air to dodge gunfire, then dropkick an enemy to propel yourself backwards continuing the dive. Then grab an enemy's weapon out of the air super hot style and continue the madness. The more you play this game, the crazier it gets. And I haven't even mentioned dual wielding yet. You can go akimbo with any combination of weapons. AK-47 and RPG? Sure. Crossbow and AA-12? Why not? Literally anything. It doesn't even make sense since you can reload one weapon while firing the other, but I do not care. It is just too much fun. And even though realism isn't exactly the goal here, obviously, there is one more game mechanic that feels like it would belong in a simulator. When firing any weapon that isn't fully auto, the game uses a double action mechanic, meaning that the gun doesn't fire until you release left click. And don't worry, this isn't even noticeable when tap firing repeatedly, but holding down left click will show the weapon's hammer slowly cocking backwards. And for some revolvers, your character will operate at single action and manually cock the hammer. You can disable this option in the settings, but I personally really like it. The weapons in this game just have so much life to them. They're so incredibly fun to use. I mean, look at the Remington 870's animations. When picking it up, your character will inspect the chamber to see if a round is loaded. And when reloading from empty, you'll insert a round directly into the chamber through the ejection port. Then continue loading into the tube. The point I'm getting at here is that the devs didn't have to do any of this, but they did because they care about attention to detail and creating the most delightful gunplay they can. In fact, it's kind of impressive what they've accomplished already with a development team of just three guys. And yeah, I guess the reload animations aren't particularly great, and by that I mean extremely jank, but at least they're fun to look at. And of course, speaking of reloads, why not a word from the man himself? Maximum Action is a game that was gifted to me on Steam by this maniac and he's been holding my family hostage ever since. With that having little influence over what I'm about to say, let me tell you why Maximum Action is such a fucking cool game. Maximum Action is very much the kind of game that appeals to me. Maybe it's the 80s cinematic atmosphere, maybe it's the run and gun gameplay, maybe it's the low poly PS1 aesthetic that pretentious nostalgia addicted smooth brains like myself sweat for. I shit you not I played my first two hours of this game at the wrong resolution because I just assumed it was a stylistic choice. But I think the real reason here is the gunplay. Maximum Action is a particularly special case because never in an indie have I heard such punchy and impactful weapon sound effects. And I'm not just talking in the shooting, but namely in the reloading too. And yes, of course, the reload animations, what can be said about them? Well, I mean, they're there. It's more than I can say for some games. But I mean, hey, I can easily tolerate these, especially when the general feel of using guns in maximum action, despite a bit of jank in certain circumstances, is otherwise so smooth and satisfying. Everything from the muzzle flashes to the sound design to the particle effects, all in service of driving this intense gameplay very much reminiscent of the era of cinema it's openly paying homage to.
Jesus Christ, man, I swear to God, I've never had as much fun in a video game unloading into a chunk of concrete because of how excessive these particle effects are. And I could go on doing this for hours considering there's no shortage of weaponry here for me to take these dirty fucking walls to task with. From the extravagant M60 to the humble Uzi SMG, just as any reasonable person would, entirely available to be dual welded. Half the time, it doesn't even make fucking sense. But if you somehow manage to tire from all the weapons that come pre-packaged with the game, you can pay a visit to the community workshop if you're feeling particularly, uh, brave? You know, I'm kind of feeling the downvote arrow gun right about now. I've never felt so immersed in the Reddit experience. Ultimately, I'd say Maximum Action is the kind of game I've always desired. Aesthetically, thematically, or gameplay-wise, hell, all they gotta do now is add a completely inexplicable zombie mode and I'll have everything I've ever wanted. But as it stands, Maximum Action has laid a solid foundation for itself that I'm happy to see being actively expanded upon in the future. Now, Clue, if you could please return my family, I'd really appreciate that I'm actually starting to get a little bit- Yeah, not a chance. Anyways, Maximum Action is clearly about one thing, fun. And it shows. When I said the game is unfinished, I was not lying. It's an early access game with a long ways to go. There's not really a lot of levels to choose from at the moment, and at times it feels like the game is barely even functional. Replayability depends on how much you enjoy experimenting with different weapon combos and trying to improve your time. There are some endless wave-based maps to play, but it's still pretty much the same gameplay. But still, maximum action fills a very strange void in the first-person shooter genre that, until now, I didn't even know was there. But I simply cannot wait to see where it goes in the future.